so at this point we we need to define this user id so what i will do is i'll copy this and put it there and equate this to the current users folder where is the current users user id which is this one so let's put that there bang we are good because a user id can be a folder so no problem there and if the folder does not exist we create it and then we put a file there index.php for security and then the allowed images are jpegs now here you can put more than just images uh, maybe someone wants to send a pdf you obviously put application slash pdf like this that will accept pdfs now if you don't know the mime types you can just google them or instead of googling you could simply uh, echo out the mime type here just go to file uh, just get this variable here files file type and echo it here and die and then it's going to show you or as you can see here it's already showing the mime type as image jpeg so if you do exactly this you will see the mime type for any file that you have uploaded and then you can just include it here that's better than googling because you have the correct information all right so allowed new image of course for us to now generate file name so we don't have that do we no so let's go to let me copy this so which means we did have this uh, function after all let me search this in post.php let's go to generate file name is there a function here apparently not so where are we getting this i'm assuming from functions.php I guess not image class generate file name oh so it's inside the image class wow i didn't think of that so anyway if it's inside the image class which means it's going to work because we're instantiating the class here then we move the uploaded file of course and then we resize the image and has image becomes equals one but we don't really need this at all oh we might need it we might need it because we if there's no image actually we didn't use this surprise surprise because if there's no image and then there's no message then i, I know that the user is trying to send something empty so uh, if there is no image so let's see has image is equal to one so let's see has images there and that so if both of these are empty by the end of the day then we have a problem so let's come down here if this error is empty then we do this but let's reach this point and ask the question if this is equal to empty and okay so if is empty and has image is equal to zero it means we haven't added anything there's no image and there's no oh wait a minute wait a minute and message is equal to trim empty so this doesn't make much sense here so what i will do here is i will put that if message is not if it's empty like that and has image is equal to zero so let's use trim here just to remove the trailing and leading z uh, spaces and then if this is true we will put this message again please type something to send
Okay, please type something to send. Good. And then because we've added it at the top here, we will not go through this and we will not save. And then return this error. So we're returning an error. So let's come back to messages.php right here. So new message, send. And then we'll return an error here. So I will say error is equal to like so. So whatever the error is will be returned here. If it's empty, then no errors occurred. Okay, for now, we're not going to refresh the page or anything like that. What I want to do is just uh, upload and see what happens. So since the data is already here, I will just hit send again. Oh, no, actually refresh, resend the data. So there we go. Too few arguments on the function create message ID. Hmm. So let's come back here and go to the messages class. So it's telling us that create message in the class here has uh, too few arguments when we are calling it. So we're supposed to provide, because here it says create message ID and we are supposed to provide a length, but we apparently did not. So let me put 60 there. Let's come back here and see if we actually saved anything, but apparently we did not. So good. Let's try that again. Okay, so undefined variable URL. That is not good. When you have an undefined variable, you're likely to have errors. So let's look at that on line 71. Where is that? Right here. So apparently URL is not present here. So why is that? 